five pieces of literature to understand Iranian protests better. Ever seen millennials and Gen Zs not speak their mind? What if they were stripped of that choice? Well, that is the current state of Iranian women and for decades together. While the protests around Masa Amini's death takes a new turn every day, we trace Iran's history of sexism and oppression through five feminist works. Let's begin at the beginning. During the reign of the Shah, publishing for women was more liberal in Iran. It's Faro Farogzad's first collection of 40 poems, The Captive, published in 1955. Set against the backdrop of the persecution-heavy environment of Islamic Iran, she addresses female longing and female agency. It is set in a time before 1953, additionally giving the reader some socio-political context of the oppression during and post-World War II. Next on our list is Iran's first female novelist, the founder of the Writers' Association of Iran, a women's rights activist, Simin Dauneshwar. Her 1969 publication, Savushun, has hints to the Iranian coup d'etat of 1953. This story of a Persian family full of idealism where they struggle to maintain their traditions is actually inspired by her own life. As we move towards a more grim narrative of what happened in Iran, the next text on our list is the short story, The Great Lady of My Soul by Goli Tarhagi. We see the story through a woman's eyes, but the author speaks as if she were a man, perhaps to build credibility in an oppressive male society back when it was released. She paints an almost apocalyptic portrait of Iran's suffering at the time. Our next work is unique because it's actually an acclaimed graphic novel. Yes, it's Marjan Satrapi's Persepolis. It blends together tragedy and history, personal and political, all while we view Iran through the lens of a young girl coming of age. It is vividly honest and gives us a first-hand account of the horrors and absurdity of war. Next, we have Zara Ghararamani's My Life as a Traitor, published in 2007. One's twenties are to experiment and grow, but this author saw a very different life in Iran's notorious Evin prison. Her memoir celebrates a glorious victory over the state's oppressive actions. Okay, that's it. I'm done. Wait, hang on. This list would be incomplete without one more honorable mention. The Nobel Peace Prize winner novel, Iran Awakening, A Memoir of Revolution and Hope by Shireen Ibadi, which was written in 2006. A must read indeed. All of these books don't just give you a peek into Iranian society during and before the current regime, but more importantly, an idea of how it is to live in Iran as a woman. Let us know in the comments if you've read any of these masterpieces and if you have some more interesting recommendations for us. They make great book club suggestions too, by the way.